Welcome back to The Four. I'm Kirsten Holmes in for Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. There is growing debate among Democrats on whether U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein should resign. The California senator has been away from Washington for more than a month now as she recovers from shingles. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. That and she's saying that this will not only impact California, but places all across the country, right, Morgan? Yeah, because Feinstein sits on a key committee that approves judicial appointments and Feinstein herself knows that this is an important role and she herself has asked to be temporarily replaced, but that is easier said than done. In February, Senator Dianne Feinstein announced she would not seek re-election in 2024, but would fulfill her term. The next month, the 89-year-old senator was diagnosed with shingles and has not been in Washington, D.C. since. President Biden has been trying very hard to rebalance the federal judiciary after uh, the wave of appointments under Donald Trump. And he was doing pretty well up until, you know, a month or two ago. And now it's slowed down with certain judges. People want Dianne Feinstein back or they want her to resign. The senator has missed a majority of the votes taken this year. Senator Amy Klobuchar telling CNN if Feinstein can't come back, it'll be a national issue. With this close Senate, that's not just going to hurt California. It's going to be an issue for the country. The first to call for the senator's resignation, California Representative Ro Khanna. In an interview with The Hill, he said he's simply saying publicly what so many are saying privately. She's simply unable now to fulfill her duties. But Senator Nancy Pelosi says she's never seen anyone go after a male senator this way, suggesting sexism at play. But I don't agree with that. Senator Grassley, the Republican from uh, Iowa, is 89 years old, but he's there. The, the real question is not her age. The real question is, can she show up, vote on the Judiciary Committee, Feinstein herself asked this week to temporarily be replaced on the committee, but that she's planning on going back as soon as her doctors clear her for travel. Probably won't work because you would require unanimous consent of the Senate or at least 60 votes. And I think it would be very difficult to find 10 Republicans. So if Feinstein does decide to resign, it would be up to Governor Gavin Newsom to appoint her replacement. And previously, the governor has said that if this opportunity does arise, that he would appoint a black woman. Now, Shrum says that Representative Barbara Lee would be the most obvious choice. And Lee herself has already put her hat in the ring. She is running to take that 2024 seat. Now, it's worth noting that Representative Ro Khanna, who is the first person to call for Feinstein to resign, is actually the coach chair of Representative Barbara Lee's campaign. Uh, Morgan, Robert Shrum is also a Democratic strategist. He's helped more than 25 senators win their seat. What would his advice to Stein, Feinstein be right now? He said if her doctors allow her to, she should get back to Washington as soon as this week, because he says as soon as she's back there, a lot of these discussions will quiet down. Morgan Reiner reporting. Thank you, Morgan.